Hello. Um, I've got a haul. It's from Boots and Superdrug. Um, I popped into town today. It's absolutely dead in town. It's basically just queues for the bank, and which is weird. Like I don't. I, like what do people? Like everything I do bank wise is done, you know, through app and over the phone, but just through app mainly. Um, you know, transfer money. You can even pay in checks and stuff on your phone, which is pretty cool. I haven't tried it, but I've seen that you can. So yeah, it just makes me want like, why such, why long queue for bank? Anyway, I popped into Boots because I needed, you know, girl type things. As of me, you want to see what we bought? Come on then. Come, come, you come and sit over here and we'll, and you can sit on a cushion. You can sit on cushion. There you go. Make a proper princess. And I'll show you and the people at home what we bought from Boots and Superdrug. Okay, so I did, um, right, where's my receipts? So professional. My receipts. So I did spend £105 in Boots, but £4 of that was on, um, Three pounds on tampons and a pound on lint chocolate. Two bars of 85% lint chocolate reduced to 50 pence each. I mean, you can't not, you know. But anyway, so that will be 101 pounds. Oh, and the 17 pence was for the bags. So I actually spent 101 pounds on stuff in boots. And then 24 pounds 45, or actually 24 pounds 40 in super drug. So, I will, I'll show you super drug stuff first. Um, there wasn't a lot of sale stuff in super drug, but I know that they do the um, perfume or aftershave or whatever it's called that my nephew likes, which is Versace Blue Jeans. Apparently he likes that one and not so much. Well, I don't know. I bought him a Ralph Lauren one for Christmas, which is nice, but my sister's like, this is the one that he uses all the time. So it's like, okay, I'll get him that for next year then. Lesson learned. No more Ralph Lauren. Fine. Fine. Anyway, um, but I was on offer for £15. I don't know if that's good, but um, I thought £15 I'll get it while it's on offer. Don't know how much it normally is, but there we go. And then I got these um, little kind of stocking fillers. So how much were these each? These were all £1.50 each. So they're Disney villains. So I got a bath fizzer and a face mask in the Maleficent. And then Cruella de Vil. There we go. So they're nice little stocking fillers for people. Um, this was quite a nice bargain. Reduced from a tenner down to £2.50. Just a nice little set there. Again, that's all right, isn't it? It's um, jojoba, vanilla and almond oil. So you've got body wash, body lotion, shower cream, hand cream and shower gel. So that's all right. Good holiday size things if, you know, we ever get to go on holidays again. But that's quite nice. And then they had these next to the till. It's one of those ones where, you know, they're like, oh, do you want one of these for 90 pence? And they've got um, you know, they've obviously got targets on them and I remember what it was like working in a shop and having to, you know, meet those targets and people would just go, no, I don't want it, no, I don't want it. And it's like, well, actually, these are useful. So, um, moisture sensitive shower cream by Nivea, 90 pence. Yeah, that'll do. So I'm like, yeah, okay. I, I like to buy things when they're, you know, when they've got the targets and stuff so that they hit their targets because, you know... I felt that pressure before and it's not fair. Right, in small bag is men's things that I bought. So this is boots now. Right, so men's things that I did buy. So these will be going to my nephews and my brother-in-law next year. Um, so Tom is going to have the Versace blue jeans and he's also going to have... Which one did I set aside? Probably... This one, which is from Jules, and it's a body wash and a perspirant. And how much was that? Five pounds, I think. No, four pounds twenty-five. I think that one was. Yeah, four twenty-five. 
for that. And then my brother-in-law is getting this one, which was also £4.25, but I thought that was hilarious with the dinosaur, like, mitt thing. That's fun. And um, this one is, so Johnny's Chop Shop Barbers. So it's like hair stuff, which is very appropriate for my nephew, Sean, because he's very much into keeping his hair looking very pretty. He's got an agent, you know. Yeah. He hasn't had any modelling work or anything, but he will do. He'll get some at some point. He's a rugby player, by the way, but he's very fit. He's tonk. Anyway, this was... Where are you? I shouldn't have taken the stickers off then. Should I really? Um... No. They, they, these don't make sense. Anyway, the socks were seven pounds. I know that. Reduced from fourteen. You wouldn't pay fourteen pounds for three pairs of fat face socks, but you'd pay seven pounds. Um, I think that was the Vickers soap treat. No, Jules. No, Parlor dog do bibs. No, no, no. Maybe that was £7.50. No, it wasn't that. Okay, I can't see it on here. Oh, road travel set, that one. Yeah, on the road travel set. Well, reduced from £10 to a fiver. I'm really good at this whole thing, aren't I? Okay, so that was a fiver. So that's boy stuff out of the way. And then we've got to the present. So let's see if I can write. This really pretty drinks flask so it's eden project but isn't that lovely pattern on there so that's for mummy she's already seen it so it's no surprise but that's going to be for her birthday which is january 26 by the way <laughs> um yeah so that's going to be for mum so that was from 16 pounds to eight pounds and then the other thing is um so these relaxing oils so there's a trio of um like scented oils essential oils so lavender oil a sleep well essential oil blend and then a stress relief blend from aroma home so that was 15 pounds down to seven pounds 50. Uh, next thing this is um bbc earth soap bar trio so these are all um like friend earth friendly things uh, so it's three soap bars but um inspired by groundbreaking series blue planet 2 so it's focused on reducing bathroom waste and abandoning single use items so by using one bar of soap you're saving four plastic bottles and there's three bars of soap in there so that's 12 plastic bottles saved so that's gonna go to a friend of mine who is very earth conscious um, and next we've got, um, let's just pick out this one. This I thought was quite cool. Um, so this was £12.50, soap and glory, five face masks in there. Um, and soap and glory stuff is always nice, always nice stocking fillery kind of things, aren't they? So uh, we've got pore, pore refining, miracle moisture, radiance boosting, declog and then under eye brightening hydrogel patches i haven't decided who these are going to be for they might just end up being for me who knows but i've got them there as a present anyway i think this is the one of the only presents really where i hadn't kind of decided who i was buying it for i just thought it was a nice little pack these are cute so just little um dog bibs now these Oh no, these were half price, yeah, from £6 to £3. So you can dress up, up as a ballerina or in a tuxedo. That's kind of fun. So that's going to go some, to someone with a doggy. Or, you know, they could just wear it themselves. A little Christmassy bath fizzer from £3.50 down to £1.75. That's quite a big bath fizzer as well, a little candy cane one. That's nice. A Revolution Cosmology palette. Lots of colours in there. 
that one was was it 20 down to 10 no 15 down to seven pounds 50 that's that's good that's good i like that i have seen that, that super drug were having a good sale and somebody managed to get revolution palettes for like 49 pence and they bought all of them um and they but they were all the same and i don't know what colors were in them but i mean 49 p that's all right i'd probably buy all of them too this i thought was quite nice another jewels one so it's a lovely tin with animals on and then it's got four little products in there, just little travel size ones. Um, a body lotion, a body wash, um, a body souffle and a body scrub. And that was £10 reduced to a fiver. And I thought that's quite nice. That would probably be for my sister. I've got Evil Upon Evil, something by Kath Kidston. But again, little soap and a soap dish. I thought that was quite nice. I go no. This is another one where I didn't have someone in mind as to who that's going to go to, but I figure lots of women and men like Cass Kidston, so um, you know, it's it's quite a generic sort of thing, isn't it? That I'm sure I'll find someone who will appreciate that. So nice gift, and that was um, from twelve pounds down to six. Got um, another bit of Disney. So this is Ursula. From the little mermaid compact mirror and that's going to go to a friend of mine that's stocking filler and then i bought two things for me because why not first thing is um so this is from the wizard of oz set by number seven so this was um where's it gone from 14 pounds down to seven pounds i haven't actually opened this up yet it's another makeup bag, and trust me, I don't need any more makeup bags. Um, well, I say that. You always do need them. Because you always have makeup to put in them. Like a silly amount of makeup. But when it comes to need, not really. But want, definitely. But it does have inside some nice fancy makeup brushes. Green ones. Oh, and so soft. There's a set of three little makeup brushes in there. So that's nice. Always need makeup brushes. That's a, that is actually a fact. But I thought that was lovely. Seven pounds. That's for me. And then the other thing I bought. Now it's sort of like an advent calendar. But I wanted it. But I don't know whether I should save it for next year. It's one of those 12 days ones. And again, it's the, see, Emerald City. And yeah, so what's this front thing all about? Oh, so it'll have the doors underneath. So it, that bit flaps up and then there's like the doors underneath. But it's 12 days and in it, do you get um, Cowardly Lion, um, eyeshadow pot in gold number seven eyeliner in black red dorothy lipstick lip glaze munchkin pink lip glaze ruby slippers red ruby slippers eye palette um oh and there's a i think there's like four shades in there um ruby slippers red lip liner a yellow brick road mini highlighting palette uh, double ending and eye brush and highlighter brush number seven tin man silver mirror and a ruby slippers red cosmetics brush yeah yeah so there's like plenty of things in there i think um but again i'm not sure whether that's something that maybe i'll keep it for next year Shall I be good and do that? I'll hide it away from myself and pretend that I've got it and then it'll be like, oh, I bought myself a present. And, and like future me will be like, wow, past me is really nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, that's my haul. Um, there was a lot of stuff in there that I think we'll probably end up seeing in the 70% one uh, sale when that happens, which I think... Is it, is it normally like the last 
Monday in January or something. I can't remember. It's always on the forums. I'll have a Google at some point. Because um, I went to last year's one and I did some retail arbitrage in there, which I've got two things left from there. I would say it wasn't... I, I mean, I didn't buy loads. I literally bought stuff that would pay for the things that I wanted to keep. So basically, I, I end, I've... With the things sold, I made a little bit of profit and the stuff that I wanted, I got for free, basically. But um, this isn't retail arbitrage. This is for gifts. But if I was going to do the 70% off one, there's lots in there that that I think will end up going into the 70%. Like there's the Julian McDonald range, which barely looked touched. And there was a load of craft ranges as well. Um, you know, like little sewing kits and things, which were cute, but overpriced, even at 50% off, I think. Um, and there was loads of like, I, number seven backpacks. They were backpacks for men, I think. I'm not sure if they were number seven, but they'll probably go into the 70% because no one had touched them. And um, Millie Macintosh and someone else, I can't remember the name of. But they had lots of those things left as well. Um, and the BBC Earth thing. So if they do go into 70% and there's more left of them, I'm definitely going to stock up on them because they actually look quite nice. I think just because it's BBC Earth, people didn't really fancy it. That's my predictions anyway. So hope you enjoyed. I was going to get all showered and like dolled up and shiz like this, you know, to do a whole video. And then I thought, nah, it's me. Um, and I was also going to do some work today, but this is nearly work. I'm not quite ready to do actual work yet. We'll see you tomorrow. Anyway, until then, bye-bye now. Bye-bye.